I find that when people first start drawing, one of the things that deters them the most is making mistakes. And I believe that that's because when you're drawing, you actually have a visual record of the mistakes that you've made. And nobody really likes to make mistakes. So who wants a visual record of where we messed up? The way that I like to tell my students to think about those mistakes is rather than thinking of them like there's something wrong with them or there's something bad about the thing that they just drew, instead think of those first lines like they're helper lines. Those lines are actually going to help you to see where you need to put the lines so that it is correct. So let me show you how I go through that process. It's going to be really quick and I think it'll make things a lot easier for you. Okay, so you can see here that I've already started working on this drawing of our little toy panda bear. Um, and I've already made a lot of mistakes and made a lot of corrections. And I used those first lines that I drew as my helping guidelines to figure out where those correct lines went. And now I want to show that to you. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the part of the object that I'm going to draw next, which in this case is the head. I'm going to break the head down into two different shapes. The first shape I'm going to do is sort of an oval. And so I'm going to draw that line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as my helper line. I did it kind of lightly so that you can see whether or not it's correct. So once I have the line on the page, I'm going to look back at the object. And that helps me to see, is that proportion correct? Does it need to be a little bit smaller or a little bit larger? And I think it actually needs to be a little bit smaller here. So I'm going to make those corrections. Then I'm going to erase my incorrect lines. So that first line was really my helper line, not just the wrong line. It helped me to figure out what I needed to do to get to the right line. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the nose. So I'm going to see that that kind of looks like it's an angled triangle. And I'm going to sketch that in there. And then I'm going to look between the object and the lines that I just drew, and I can see that his nose maybe needs to be a little bit narrower. So I'm going to use that first line as my helper line to tell me to make that a little bit narrower. And I think it needs to be a little bit more curved. So I'm going to make those changes and then erase the lines that aren't necessary anymore. But you can see that those lines helped me to get to the shape of the panda bear's head much more than just trying to imagine it perfectly in my mind and and not, you know, and imagine it coming out perfectly on the page. It just doesn't usually happen like that. So don't think of it like you have to draw perfectly. You just need to use any line that you wind up with on the page to help you get closer to the correct outline. Thank you all so much for watching. More videos are coming soon, so if you wish to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that. And also you can check out my website, lzmstudio.com.